Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. I think we're just going to keep continuing on with doing these uh, extra quests, because it's actually pretty fun. Oh wow, the ring is like right nearby Mirwatch. That's nice. Oh, are they traveling right now? Is that why they're so close? They are on the other side of the mountain, though. You know what? Let's go see them. Maybe we'll have the chance to kill another dragon or something, too. Because now that I know the mod works and I can trade dragon souls for skill points, and there's literally a dragon right there that I saw. Is he... angry or just flying? Who knows? Is that a person running up there? I'm so confused as to what was just happening. I think it was. Hey, everyone. I welcome you, friend. How may I say? That is the truth. Oh, uh, no. Uh, the ring is... A c no, no. I want to buy it off 5,000. That's nothing. Okay, okay. You've talked me into it. <laughs> there we go. And we get a full set of Daedric armor, which isn't as good as ours currently, I think. Daedric mail, Daedric mail boots, Daedric mail gauntlets, Daedric mail helmet. Oh, interesting. It's light armor. Huh. Well, our, our current stuff is enchanted. So, no need to do anything else. Let's teleport away before anything comes to kill these guys. Um... And let's see where we're going from here. So, we had something to the south. Could have sworn. Where where does the game want me to go? Okay, so there's the Bandits and Lost Knife Hideout. We can do that. I think that's more armor. And there was another thing on our map. Okay. Confront the Elik mercenaries in Secunda's Kiss. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do these. We can always get more quests if I do them real quick. <laughs> Why not? There's a ton of quests. We still haven't found the uh, Shea Gorath one. There's a whole huge one, Saints and Seducers, that we haven't really stumbled upon yet. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Okay. Where are you going? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Uh if you okay. really want to do my job for me, here, I'll mark the location on your map. Just make sure you take care of whatever's going on there. It's my name on the line. Okay. What did you just mark for me? I've never seen that before. You didn't mark anything for me... there? I think she would have just marked a location for us, but considering we have pretty much every location in the game... Eh. Not a big deal. Also, training is going very well. I guess I should update you guys. Destruction at 83. Restoration's almost at 100. Once I get all of the magic things to uh, at least 90, by the way, uh, we will have to go to the College of Winterhold because they've got something that we can do there. Otherwise, all of these are at 100, which is lovely. Sneak, I keep uh, legendarying. Speech is 72. Unfortunately, the only way to raise speech is to sell things and all that, which actually will happen when we do enchanting and uh otherwise i'll make a little update on how these increase once we get to a hundred in them which hopefully won't take too too long considering what we're doing but also candlelight turn on the candlelight okay so just regular bandits here Is this really just kill the bandits? What quest is this for? Blood in the water. 
Bloodfall Queen. Maybe this is a bigger quest than I know. I know I've gone through this place before. It's did this, did they just put it in like a random area? Green Cat Bandit. That's new. Are you a Green Cat Bandit? You are. How strong are you? Not super strong. Weird that you're like listed as a different type of bandit, though. Oh, <laughs> wrecked. Oh, is there one of you down here? Oh, that's right. There's a guy who's swimming down here, right? Oh, wait. What was that? Chance is folly. Oh. Use fishing supplies? You must have a fishing rod equipped. Is that a person? It is. Oh, that's right. You can't swing a sword while you're... In the water. Alright, there we go. Now he's dead. Uh, I could do the fishing stuff. Out of sheer curiosity. Let's... Ooh. I never put the sword back on one. There we go. Let's see. If I equip that fishing rod. Use fishing supplies. What does this do? While fishing, press activate to reel in your line. Reeling when there is a strong pull on your line will reel in your catch. Ripples on the surface when casting your line are from a nearby fish. If the, fish, if the water is calm when you cast your line, there will be no fish to catch here. Okay... Oh. I'm a little confused by this. It does go in first person for some reason. Reel it in your line too early. Okay. Is there nothing here? Okay. Press E to pull in your catch. Started angler acquaintances. Visit the Riften Fishery. Okay. You know what? We'll do that. What? This is cool. Where are you? Oh, they're like way up above me. That's fine. Let's not get hit by the tumbling rocks. Although Lydia might set it off. No? Good. Uh, there's a way further in there. But it doesn't look like that's the way I want to go. They're so easy to kill. Ah, there's a further... Easy. Okay. Oh, that might be the way out. Now that I think about it. Oh. We might end up doing the fishing quest. I'm curious. What is this? Yeah, let's just visit for now, but okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't. You really think there's going to be something really powerful in here? Oh, he hello. Well, he's dead. What about you? Green cap. The single power attack? Oh. Goodbye, head. Too bad I can't collect the, uh... The arrows that are stuck in me. Bad decision to sleep on the job. Whoa. Well, I just sent him into another dimension, I guess. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like that's the one I needed to catch. 
Ow. That's painful. Alright. Oh, I remember this with like all the dog cages and everything. Hello. Alright, well, they died, like, instantly. Retrieve the headman's cleaver. Whoa. Got the journal. How is it compared to my Umbra? Really? We're gonna try that out, because it is more base damage than Umbra. Which is surprising. I mean, granted, it is not going to be stronger uh, otherwise, but we actually haven't used battle axes in this game, really. And it looks really cool. And we could enchant it, I guess. You. Get back here. Dang it, I whiffed. Very satisfying. Okay. So did that complete the quest? Oh, yeah, yeah I guess it w did. Alright, well, I'm very tempted to uh, Still here. keep that and just use it. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, I've already been through here, so I don't need to do that. Um, is this orcish armor? It's just orcish. Okay. Nothing else for you. Alright, well... I guess that's all here. I mean, I guess I could open the... chest that we get, but... Lord knows, there's probably not anything great in it. Yeah... That was... really weak as a reward. But we got a new battle axe, which we could... Oh. I mean, like... I like the idea of enchanting it because it's just unenchanted right now. That could be a really cool and fun, like, ending weapon. I don't even know where that's from. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. Like what we end up using full time and all. Because I like Umbra. It's cool. But, eh. And we can also make something ridiculous with the headman's cleaver. And it's a heavy weapon, so... We'd be using the exact same stuff that, uh... We would otherwise. Ah, I see. Whee! Boom. Oh, he washed up to here. That's actually really funny. How do I get up? There we go. And then we run up here. Run up this way as well. Okay. Now we can leave. Make like a tree and leave. Uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. Don't fall in here. I really like the cleaver idea. Because well, otherwise we were just going to use like a dragon bone sword or something, but... I mean, is this just a named thing, or is it a unique... It looks like a unique weapon, or is that just an orcish battle axe? I have no idea. Okay, so now that we're out... Let's see. I guess we'll just go take care of the mercenaries. I did not expect that to be that quick. That's fine. It doesn't bother me. It's just... I mean, I don't know. Okay, that kind of bothers me a little bit. That's such a small quest for such a nothing weapon. I at least expected that to be a little bit stronger or to, for it to be enchanted, but it's an unenchanted great axe. Now I'm like, what does the orcish great axe look like? Because if that's just a named orcish great axe, that's kind of, I don't know, kind of lazy in my opinion. All right. So he hello. What?
You all right, buddy? Oh, okay. Why is there just a random frost atronach? Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. That's very, uh, violent of you. Yeah, they're not great people. Alright, let's find these. Alakir warriors. Are they just hanging out here? Like, totally out in the open? Yeah, 100% are. Oh, alright. All right, so they're just attacking me. They're also not that ridiculous to f Oh, because I'm immune to fire! Oh, so he has two scimitars. Key to the chest. Oh, you know what? I'll take the red guard stuff, because I don't think we have those yet. And different colors, too. Actually, wait. No, you're useless. You can't hurt me. Just gonna murder you with my sword. Wow, that's... Alright. Bloody. You actually have green. And you have yellow. Full set of the red guard stuff, I guess. That's kind of cool. I don't know what I picked up there. Did I pick up, like... Oh, I guess I... No, I picked up boots. That's what I picked up. I don't need no boots. Right? Oh, no. Red guard boots. That's different. Because So that guy actually had... Regular boots. Do you also have red guard boots? Yes, but they're the same. Okay, so... I guess it's just in here. Lord's Mail Cursed. Penitus Oculatus stuff, okay. And this is just a hide helmet. Alright. Cleanse the Lord's Mail in Solitude. Okay. Let's read a couple of things that we got, because we got that note. As we discussed, this armor is extremely available. Priests protect it at all costs. You and your men should sleep in shifts in order to prevent any surprises and dispose of anyone you do not recognize, but cannot be found out. The buyer will be traveling to meet you in the coming days. We can stand to make a small fortune, and you and your men will get the proper cut of the profits, as agreed. The loss of such an artifact will bring disgrace to the Empire, and we should all be proud. Please be aware, it is extremely important that you do not put this armor on. I do not believe the stories, but when I put it on, I was overcome with an uneasy fatigue. Do not tell the prospective buyer about this unless they change their minds. Let them seek out Kenneth's blessing themselves. Okay. And... The journal. Uh... I'm not going to read this, but you can go ahead and read it yourself. Oh. Okay, it's not actually that that long. I've always enjoyed beating my little brat into the ring and everything. Cards, I had the better hands. Brawls, likewise. When we raced up the ramparts of the old castle, I would always be the first to reach the peak. Mother said the difference between myself and my brother was that he was a perfectionist and I was a conqueror. She said I wanted to beat him at everything and it drove me to become a great warrior. But my brother didn't care for competition. As a perfectionist, he simply wanted to sharpen his skills and would work with others if he thought it would better himself. Mother said that's why he would make the better ruler. My brother would forever try to improve our standing, whereas I was content being better than the next man. Well, little did he know the next man was him. I'm going to enjoy killing you, little brother. Grandfather's venom may have failed to reach Mother's veins, but it will still reach her heart. Wow, alright. That dude's messed up. Let's go cleanse this in solitude. <laughs> I mean, like... Yeah, what do you do after reading that? It's just like... All right, well, time to carry on, I guess. Oh, Lord. It's snowing outside. I don't know what to say half the time during these loading screens. Sometimes I just don't say anything and I edit them out later. But then other times I forget that I shouldn't say anything during them. And therefore means I <laughs> am not going to be editing it out. I should have installed this game on the SSD way back when, but at this point, it's like so far into it now that it's kind of like, all right, just get it done with. 
So where are we going to cleanse this? In the castle tower? Really? Alright. Oh, it's the Temple of the Divines. That actually makes sense. Is this a Kinnereth place? Really? Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? Well, we're just going to go here. Okay, cool. Lord's Mail has been cleansed. So what is the Lord's Mail? Opponents in melee range have five points of health absorbed per second. Increases poison resistance by 75%. Increases magic resistance by 17%. Oh my god. It is technically not as good as that. But, wow. What a... Mm. We look cool in it. Unfortunately, I don't think you guys saw that. When I put on the Lord's Mail, it drops its armor rating because I'm not wearing a full set. If I have the full set of Dragonbone Mail, I get the set bonus, which brings it up quite a bit, brings up my heavy armor skill. So, yeah, it's really not worth it. And also the fire resistance drops. I mean, I guess the Pentaculus stuff is part of the set, is it? Do I get the set bonus if I'm wearing Pentaculus? Wait, why is it raising it as I put it on? So there's that. Pentaculus boots. Ah, uh, but I didn't take the helmet. Okay, it's not worth it then. Hmm. Something about what was happening seemed wrong. Like, it, it didn't seem like it was doing it properly. Whatever it is. I think maybe it's supposed to be the set, but well, wait. Hold on. Do I even have the set bonus perk? Should it even be doing it? Oh, I do. I believe. Yeah, match set. And conditioning, so... Doesn't weigh anything either now. Uh, okay. Yeah. So where am I going? I'm going to Riften. Because that's where the fishery is. Not Mistvale Keep. We could go to the stables. Because it seems like it's outside of the city. Okay, so we're in Riften. Lovely place. Oh, yeah, it's a brand new area down here to discover. Well, that's cool. Was it added in? Uh, how are we going to get to it? Um, do I have the... Nope. Do I have the shout that I can roll and sprint? There we go. Whoa! That was weird. Well, that was very weird. <laughs> oh my god. The waiting, the insufferable waiting. What's up? Here, I want you to have this. Don't ask, just take it. Juvenile mud crab? Tidings. What? Bounty Juvenile, after hanging out my sword and bow to live in a quieter life, I decided to study the lives and habitat of mud crabs here at the Rift and Fishery. It's my hope that one day we might breed mud crabs much like we do fish. If only everyone else at the fishery shared my interest. I am in search of a juvenile mud crab so that I may study its growth. These young mud crabs rarely leave the water, so now I need an intrepid fisherman to catch one. They can be caught in almost all lakes and streams throughout Skyrim, though a breeding ground is said to be in White Run west of Broken Fan Cave. In case... Oh. Okay, so this is a whole thing. All right, hold on. So in a pinch is the bounty. Okay. Oh God, we're <laughs> this fishing mini game is gonna suck. Stop. That Too bad. Say I've heard of any laws against whatever that is you're doing, but I'll lock you up if I have to. 
I mean, you can try. I've got my eye on you. Out with it. Um. Maps. You know shop in White Run. That'd be a good place to start. He carries all sorts. All right. It would seem so. I mean, I can take it over. Good luck out there. Thank you. Juvenile mud crab. All right. So they're looking for specific things. How many quests are there? For this is going to turn into like a Stardew episode now. At least it doesn't run out like everything else. All right. Whoa. This place is a whole thing. Salmon. There's big slaughter fish here. That's cool. Tight. Of course. List of fair weather fish added. Okay. An entire list of fish to catch, but I only just learned. That doesn't change anything. Uh, should I cook them? What? No. Okay. You expect me to believe that? Fish you tend to the fishery must be very Speaks important. The truth. All right. My thanks to you. So his is just catch a bunch of different fish. I'm guessing. What's the? Where's the list? Fairweather fish. Carp, glassfish, goldfish, pogfish. Shelf on the back room of the fishery. Okay. I'll try and read it. If you're looking for a handout, Bowley's around with my husband's newfound religion. What I Alright, so where's this Hello? Bully? You, You're charitable. I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars yeah. roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Fair. Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? All right. Remember to give at the temple. So, fishing mastery, huh? So you decided to learn how to fish. Good for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to skim this. Skybook details four types of fish that are local for beginners. Most common on a clear day means streams and lakes in the fair parts of Skyrim. Away from snow and ice. Okay. Start by casting a line right off the docks near the Riften Fishery. Uh, West to take your hand out fishing from... The river that longs alongside Iverstead. And your journey at Villimar Inn with making arms and a full belly. So carp are caught in temperate lakes and streams, large in size, uncommonly caught, seen in fair weather. Okay. Glassfish, caught in temperate lakes, small in size, commonly caught. Goldfish are temperate lakes, small in size, uncommon. Ah, okay. So the pogfish can only be found in streams, large in size. Fair and rainy weather. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that. Oh, there's another new book, Line and Lore. The rod. Once you have a ride, you need supplies. Leave fishing supplies by waters where the fish are plentiful. Like I said, there are places where you can fish. Um, reeling it in. Run usual catch. Heart, this is a whole thing, huh? All right, I'm gonna take that with me. Been helping me through a rough patch. 
I just wanted to pay him back. It's not like he's keeping it. Uh-huh. I'm sure he runs outside with the coin and throws it up in the air so Mara herself can catch it. Come off of it, Foley. You may be my wife, but this is my business. So just do your job. Don't worry, you'll still have plenty of gold left over to waste on trinkets. I'm gonna read this things to do pamphlet. Pair the holes in the nets. Pair the wood damage on the fish pens. Just fishing charts for Lake Honrick. Tell Nivenor to stop spending so much of her damn money. This is like a really well done. Is she like flirting with me? Your husband is right there. Alright, this is... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of really enjoying this fishing uh, minigame thing. So fishing supplies are right here. Okay. You know, if we're gonna be doing this a lot... Let's keep the do, 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 fishing rod. We'll favorite it. We'll go in here and... I don't have anything on three because I got rid of my gun. I guess I should actually favorite the crossbow. That could be... Sorry, three. That could be two. What do I have on four? Burrows, wall run, sprint, that's fine. I can get rid of that. So four will be the fishing rod. It's very calming, I will admit. So I did it once. Hopefully I remember how to do this. So that was a fa false. Another false. There we go. What do we get? We got a goldfish. Okay. Can I get anything else while I'm here? There are fish here, so... Not a problem. Okay. It's false. That's false. Catch it. Brook bass. Okay. We'll keep it, just in case. Maybe that's like a super uncommon catch for this area. But we can catch three out of the four fish that we need here. And then only for really the pog fish do we have to go towards Iverstead. I mean, it's real. You lost your catch. Why? There's no downside to losing your catch in this. Thankfully, it's just like time. I don't hate this. Like, I really like it, actually. Got a salmon, okay. And like, you can actually... I... Oh, man. I really wish Mirwatch had uh, the aquarium update added to it, but that's only in the main houses, because you can actually get aquariums and put fish in them. Slaughterfish? Oh, wow. So where are these put in here? Are they put in here? They are. Whole fish. Oh, the goldfish is actually a uh, an ingredient. Look at that. Has the goldfish always been in this game? I truly don't know. I am astounded at this, like, update. It's really well done, really solid. I only wish that other player housing had a... Uh, the fish tanks. Although, because it's relatively new, I mean, like, it came out with the Anniversary Edition, I'm sure people are making player housing with the, um, addition of the fishing, with the addition of the fish tanks. And there's a silver side part. Okay. Well, let's see what happens when we give him one, because I still don't know, like, what kind of a reward do you get for Bringing just one fish. You or do I have to bring them all? Yes. No? Hmm, wait. Catch of the day. You'll be able to catch what I need by fishing off the docks and along the little river that leads to Iverstead. Oh, okay. So, okay. You have to keep need something. doing it. And maybe they're not appearing because I might be catching like... Uh, 
nighttime fish at this point. Because night fishing is a thing and different fish are active at night as well. It's almost like you're joining a guild or something to do this. But I just get tongs. Tongs. Yeah, fish are active. I mean, to be fair, there's no mini game to this. It's just pressing E once you get something on your line. I do wish there was more skill associated. Okay, all we're getting is salmon now. Let's wait until morning. And it's fair weather too, so if it like rains or something, I I can't fish. Although one of the fish I need to catch are actually rain. See, that's not fair weather, that's foggy. What does this mean? Totally different set of fish? I, I have no idea. Slaughterfish, okay. Watch that. I'm going to keep all the fish I catch because, frankly, I mean, like, I'm guessing that later on I'll need to turn those in, too. I, and this isn't making for great content, I imagine. <sighs> okay. So the book said, I took the book with me, Fishing Mastery. So this is lakes and streams seen in fair weather. Seen in fair weather, seen in fair weather, fair and rainy weather, but that's only the streams. So we should wait the next day and see if I could do that. The mud crab thing is also super interesting because I basically have to fish in a specific spot and bring her back a mud crab. I wonder if I should just go do that. Is it like a super rare spawn? Is that why it's like that? I don't know. When does the sun come up? Why is it so foggy? Oh, that's raining now, too. Alright, well, if that's gonna rain, let's check out Juvenile Mud Crab. Yeah! Let's check this out. Just because I'm interested in this, this is so different. <laughs> I really like this, actually. Oh, I, I see why they put this in. Like, you can retire after doing this for so long. Just go fishing. Just enjoy the fruits of your labor. So, I installed a mod for Mirror Watch that actually put... Oh, but that's like a fishing hatchery. It's not the same thing as fishing supplies and all that. Are we- are we doing this, or are you just being mean? You're not on my minimap as an enemy. And usually when that happens, that means that they're just gonna run- go away. It is funny that he's like, directly over top of me though. Whoa, take juvenile mud crab. There's a spectral mud crab though. What? Sir crab a lot. What? Who's Sir Crabalot? Actually, I'm gonna reload this because Sir Crabalot was a uh, summoner's note. 
Sir Crabble, you have been summoned once again from the fray. Your reign of terror upon the living shall never end. S-P-N-T-A. What? Also, giant mud crab here. I... Oh, hello. He's an adventurer. Bounty juvenile mud crab. Oh, so he came here and he just got killed. Okay, I... I'm gonna reload this because Sir Crabalot actually wasn't hostile to us. I want to try and keep Sir Crabalot alive, I guess? We're gonna come back here and, and redo that real quick. Alright, so we did that. We left Sir Crabble alive and we have the juvenile mud crab. Out of curiosity, where does that appear? Oh, it's an ingredient. Huh. Okay. It is our most favorite company. Need something? Uh, I got it. Here you go. I have done that without you. I'm grateful for your efforts. Here, take this. Okay. You're headed to Falkreath. It's all in this note. I'll take my leave then. Bounty glassfish. Feeling much better now, thanks to you. Same one, yeah. Bounty glassfish. Single glassfish is needed for a potion that client has requested. I cannot leave my shop unattended during daylight hours. No choice but to request that somebody acquire this for me. Okay. Wait, what? Plus an additional reward for any who might be willing to assume more work regarding a private matter. Okay. Clear-headed. Different quest. And that just requires us getting a glass fish, so we will have to actually... Fish. Alright, so... Hmm... I don't know, maybe continuing in this is just going to take forever because I have to wait for fair weather to give me uh, any decent chance. I don't know. It's tough. Oh, looks like fair weather. Okay, fair weather. Time to fish. Which... I might just have to grind. I can't believe that's a weapon. Ah, uh, I mean, I was liking this at first, but now that I realize I have to just grind out these fish, especially because I have to get a glass fish for the other bounty too. So it's not like that's going to happen over just a second. Yeah. All right, well... I guess I'll be grinding out these two. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this because I'm not going to do them all on camera. <laughs> that would be really bad. Um, I guess let's go see what's at Iverstead at that fishing area. So, I don't know. Um, Where is that area? I mean, it, it, they said it was near the water, right? So I should be checking by the stream. Well, maybe not this part of the stream. What is it now? Wilhelm said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims on the 7000 steps. Oh my god. Um Okay, so it's going to be up the other direction, right? Cuz it's not going to be down the waterfalls. Uh Where in Iverstead do they mean? I'm like struggling to figure out where they want you to fish from. There's a fish drying rack.
And there's fish splashing about. Can you fish from anywhere? Or are there specific spots? Oh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, not there. Where's this fishing spot? Okay, this I don't like as much. Maybe I should check the fishing spots. Look, did I pick that up? Oh, I don't think I did. Or if I did, I put it away. Well, okay. This is gonna be a whole thing. I don't know. Maybe fishing needs to be a stream for Skyrim, because it doesn't seem super interesting as a video, as I am learning, because it's going to be a lot of time where you just sit there and keep doing the fishing stuff. Oh, here it is. Here's the fishing. I found it. It's not fair weather either. It's cloudy. I don't know if that changes anything. I don't know how different the weather is, like how much they differentiate. Like, am I not going to be able to find the thing that I want? That's not good. You, are we really? Oh, boy. God damn it. I was just trying to have a peaceful fish, you asshole. You're really just an ass. <sighs> Annoyingly, I think he's going to land over there. Which means I'm not even going to be able to get to him by the time that my dragon rend wears off. I don't actually know if I hit him. I don't think I did. Nope. God. That's annoying. That'll force you to land. I don't know where you're going to go, but... I'm just going right to the middle here again. Looks like it. Alright, here we go. Oh, maybe I should charge my weapon. Oh, he's using fire, too. I think we might be able to kill him real easy. Nope, not the black soul gem. Use the petty. I'm immune to your fire, you asshole. And I have good gut, good armor. Get back here. Where are you going? That's right. Gonna land right here. Breathe fire at me all you want. You can't hurt me. That's right. Hello? Shout. Why isn't the shout button working? There we go. Oh, I should use some stamina potions or something. There we go. Wow. That makes the fire dragons really easy to kill. Oh, well, they're scout boots, huh? Bam. Ruining my fishing time. Alright, well. I don't think there's anything super interesting. Sting to sh oh, I was for a second there was like are you walking on the water Lydia. No, she was just walking on this rock. Okay uh, I don't think there's anything super interesting to show with these uh, Fishing things then 
what I am going to do is I'm going to get the fish that I need for this and continue the quests themselves on camera, but otherwise we will be just doing this off camera because there's no reason for it. Um, yeah, otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys next time where we got fish and hopefully magic taken care of. That's a lot to do. Anyways, bye bye